What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and a little bit different kind of video here. Kind of a trip down memory lane. First of all, um, we hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel. That is absolutely unbelievable. Never thought when I started any of this channel, and I'm sure this is all cliche YouTube talk, never thought when I started this channel I'd ever hit 100,000. Well, I truly did not ever think that that would ever happen. Um, and as I'm kind of sitting here editing this video, um, I, I keep almost everything on hundreds of hard, or dozens of hard drives like this. So I have all this other film. You know, we don't normally just sit down and like go back through old film, but it is kind of a crazy thing that all this happens. So this is gonna be, you know, I have nobody to thank but you guys. I mean, this is, it's kind of crazy um, when you really think about some of the early videos that I shot that eventually we, we got to this point. And literally it is all because of you guys watching, subscribing, commenting, doing the whole thing for me. I just get to go out and fish, try to put a couple fish on camera, try to make a decent product for you guys to watch. And, uh, but literally it's all, it's all because of you guys. And uh, a huge amount of appreciation goes out to everybody who watch these videos and especially a ton of you guys who are watching just in the early days, which is kind of crazy. And as I'm sitting here editing this video, looking at some of the old footage, man, it's crazy how bad those videos were. I mean, the audio is terrible. I had no idea how to edit. I still don't think I have any idea how to edit. Um, um, so we're just going to kind of do a little kind of trip down memory lane with this video, throw in kind of a few fish catches over each season maybe, and uh, just kind of reminisce on old times and uh, listen to me say thank you to you guys a hundred times in this video. Um, but um, it is kind of crazy. I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a, of a walkthrough on, you know, what, you know, when I started YouTube multiple years ago, um, it really didn't know a lot as far as where the channel really I wanted it to go. Um, for the most part, I, and I always say this, whether I'm, I'm doing speaking events or whatever it is now, um, when people are like, man, I love the channel. And I always say, thank you. We always wanted to make the fishing show that I wanted to watch when I was like a kid. And meaning that, what I mean by, I always mean by that is, there's a lot of content out there that's just kind of boom, 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 hook set, flashy, flashy, you know, maybe it's shot up in some premier destination in Canada, or maybe it's shot on some elite body of water here. What we really want to do is provide context to a lot of, um, or, or make a lot of information for bites that most of us are fishing. So that's kind of what we, I sought out to do in the early days was put a lot of information into a bite. Um, you know, the specifics on, on fishing a late fall walleye bite, the specifics on a, a midsummer trolling pattern a lot of the stuff that i just had no idea about and believe it or not i've only probably been walleye fishing now like seriously for like five years before that i was kind of a little bit of everything a lot of musky fishing believe it or not i used to do a ton of musky fishing never cared about walleye fishing and then the the whole thing that kind of stole the the show for me on walleyes is as i got into it more and more uh, the technical side of it um, I feel like a lot of other styles of fishing, like let's just take muskies for example. Yes, you put on a big bait. Yes, you cast it a lot or troll it a lot. Uh, but there's only really, it feels like so many variables. Where walleye fishing, I don't think there's another fish where there's so many different ways to target that fish. And they're so temperamental up and down. And I just kind of became fascinated with that aspect of walleye fishing. And you know, early on started filming some of the stuff that I was learning and it just kind of eventually morphed into kind of where it is now. But we'll take a quick jog back to kind of like some of the early days. I don't have some of like the early, early, really terrible videos because that's probably because you guys don't even want to watch those anyways. But we'll kind of shoot back to kind of when like I started taking YouTube a little bit more seriously. Are you rolling, Hayes? Mm -hmm. We are hooked up. We're smally here and it's a good one. Throw on the hair jig. That is what it's about right there. <laughs> and that is what we're after. Just chunks, absolute chunks on that little eighth ounce Kalen's hair jig. Super small, super finessey presentation, but a lot of times when these fish get up on these flats early in the season, you know, they, they get very timid. It's tough to get something that's gonna catch them. That hair jig's the perfect thing. These fish kind of up on top of stuff, and I think my bobber is already down. Do not see it, which means it pretty much must be down. <laughs> there we go. Right away. As I was talking about them being active, made one cast, and now one thing I'm always doing is staring at my side ending. So as we're just sitting here, you can see I got fish still off the right. 
and that's very important because it lets me know those fish are still there. They're not spooking. This is a nice fish right off the bat too. Great way to start the day. I'm gonna net this one because this is just a cone. Oh, the 24, 25. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is the way you start the morning right there. That is how you want to start the morning right there. Big chunk walleyes up in the weeds. Fish. Oh, that feels good. Surly is absolutely losing his mind over the sailboat over here. But look at this walleye. Quality, quality walleye here. Watch out, Surly. Go ahead and scoop him up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> this is too much fun. So in the spring of 2020, this is kind of when I started taking YouTube a lot more seriously. And you know, mainly primarily walleye content. We'd shoot a little bit of smallmouth stuff, some lake trout stuff, some a lot of walleye stuff, obviously. And uh, it's crazy looking at some of the stuff, like how bad I think the camera angles are and how bad I think the audio is. But that was kind of when I started like kind of seeing um, the opera, not necessarily the opportunity in YouTube, but started kind of seeing the growth and started seeing things kind of happening on the channel. Still really had no idea like kind of what I wanted to do or what the best thing. And as a, as a YouTuber, you, you sit around, and you think, oh, what do people want to see? What do people want to see? And sometimes I think it's probably, it's kind of like a loaded question. Like, yeah, there's a million different things want people want to see, but I think generally the best answer to that question is you just have to do what you're good at. And that's not, you know, necessarily the fishing side, hundred percent for me. I mean, there's plenty of people who are better than me and he's good at me at walleye fishing, but, um, it's the teaching side of it and the communication side of it. And I think that's kind of over the years is probably my strong suit. And I just, you know, I think a lot of times going deeper into what you're good at is better than trying to spray content a million different directions and just hope that one of them takes off and then go that direction. So uh, that's kind of was kind of my take early on from the whole YouTube thing and the feedback I was getting. Now I guess we'll jump into a little clip of like the summer of 2020. All right, well, we are hooked up on another one here. It is just stagnantly, unbelievably hot out. And this is definitely, if this is a walleye, which I think it probably is, it's gonna be a tank. Feisty. He almost got away. Almost, almost. Scoop him, Shelby. Got him. Nice. Another awesome northern Wisconsin walleye right there. That's so neat. <laughs> but there we go. So it's all about crazy good average size. Another one about 22. And uh, yeah, we're going to get him back. Trolling open water, catching big walleyes. Got a decent little lake around here. Is that what it is? Woke up out of a nap. <laughs> Picked up the rod out of Tom's hands, barely even awake. Another nice laker. That one's got all sorts of marks on them. Decent fish though. Big time midday lull though. So we might have to move spots or something here. All right, well, kind of a decent morning of fishing. We actually lost some of our big bites, uh, but now we pulled up to an island, the only island left out here. Um, oh, by kind of where we're fishing and uh, we're gonna have some lunch. Unbelievable place, low winds today and uh, we can actually get into shore and just take a pan of this, Mitch. How crazy is this place? It is beautiful. Good fishing, bad fishing. There's just nowhere better to spend a day fishing. Come here, buddy. Thank you. Cookie cutters. Uh, super windy day. There was a huge storm yesterday, front still rolling through, and the fish are biting. Oh, dude! Tiger, tiger, tiger! It's the tiger muskie! It's the tiger muskie! I gotta Alright, right over here. Did you guys see that jump? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> That'll be a sick oh shot. You wanna bring him right around here? Yeah, he's hooked weird. He's like cheek hooked. Not a super thick one, but a big old head on him. Yeah, he's probably about 40 inches long. We'll take that. Musky season for us has not lasted very long. We have not been very far into this. We're about two outings in. 
And look at that. We're having lots of success so far musky fishing. So when I look back on a lot of these clips, like the a lot of the stuff from 2020 or early 2021, I still wasn't, I, I feel like I still wasn't really like taking it like a job at this point. It was a lot more like, um, it, it seemed, I'm not going to use the word fun because I have a lot of fun doing it now, but I was not taking it as seriously. It was a lot more of just like, yeah, we'll throw the cameras up. We'll see if we get something on film, blah, blah, you know, and it was, it was just every day. I mean, seven days a week, I was, I was out filming something. And if something, if I wanted to film a shallow water jig walleye bite, let's say, and it was 11 o'clock and that dud, and I was like, man, I just don't like where this is going. We might go to a different lake and try smallmouth. And if that didn't seem good, we'd go musky fishing in the afternoon. And it was this just like constant, endless day in, day out grind. And uh, that was 99% of my time was spent in a boat. And if you guys follow along this channel long enough, maybe nobody even knows this. Most of the time when I go out and film, let's say I, I fish from noon to dark. I come back at dark, dump the footage on the computer, edit all night, or you know the three, four, five hours that it takes you edit a video, um, put it together and post it. And that was kind of how like that whole year was. It was just this nonstop fast pace. And uh, I think the channel grew quite a bit that year. Um, but it was a lot more. Looking back on those years, it was like a lot more. There was no, there was no plot or plan or. It was just like let's go out, throw cameras up, see what happens. Every single video was shot like that. So we'll kind of throw some stuff into the, the fall here. There's a bite. Ooh. Fish on. <laughs> I like that. Look at that Elliot rod. Load it up. When you're out here catching fish like this, cast after cast on some of this deep water structure. And where is everybody? Beautiful fish right there. I love fall. They get perky. They get fat. They get hungry and they eat jigs all fall long. Look at that, absolutely awesome. Doubled oh, up, oh, pitch him. Oh, got two fish on. Okay, I got, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's a baby walleye. Baby. What do you got? Dude, oh, that's a toad. That's a tank. <laughs> Slightly larger than the one I had on. Nice. Heck yeah, nice, dude. Man. That's an absolute stud. November, it's gonna be 70 degrees today. Man, it's hard to beat. That is hard to beat. That hard is a beauty beat. right there. Yeah. Oh, hooked up. In the snowstorm, catching walleyes. What a 16, 17 incher there. Let him go. So after kind of the fall of 2020, um, ice fishing for the YouTubers is kind of like the, um, a lot of guys I, I think really rely on. It's this really short but intense viewership kind of um, range of time where you, you try to send it really hard into um, the, the winter because there's this, there's this crazy spike in views that a lot of happens for a lot of that first ice content. Um, so going into that, it was kind of like, okay, this is obviously I could see that things were happening a little bit. I was gaining some subscribers, blah, 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 boring stuff. Um, but uh, we pressed it pretty hard that winter and still, this is kind of like still looking back at the point where I was like, man, we were just uh, like trying everything. Like there was just endless amounts of hours spent on the water, very focused on just producing content, producing something. Um, it was not a very polished product yet. People still seem to like it for the most part, uh, but it's. I still look back at some of these first ice clips and think they're pretty like archaic. Take them, take them. Pick it up and pop it. Got them? Got them. Ooh, it feels nice. Such cool ice today. And you can just see the fish fighting through when they're like 10 feet down. I don't know how much the camera's picking up, but. Ooh, I Oh, good work, baby. Oh, we yeah. did it. We got our walleye. Oh my God, and it's a nice one. That is a really nice one, babe. <laughs> yes. What do you think? I'm excited. Are you having a good day? Yeah. Is your day made? My day is, my day is better now that we've caught a walleye. And, uh, oh my gosh, camera's on right now. Good one. Did you just come up and smoke it? Just came up and crushed it. Oh my gosh, dude, this is going to be a big one. Oh, 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 he's freaking out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. He's just <laughs> losing his mind down there. Oh my gosh. The suspense. Oh, there we go. We got him. 
Dude, that's a tall one right there. Right on. Right on cue. Just getting rolling. Look at that thing right there. That's nice a problem. Fish. Feels good. Sun's finally nice coming boy. up. Oh, dude, grab him. Oh my gosh, that scared the scared crap me. out of me. That's scared. only eight pound, bro. Scared me too, man. That's a fatty. <laughs> that is a good fish. Dang. Look at that. That is what we are after. Oh my gosh, I got tangled up so bad too. Take a look, what an absolute tank. Oh, I got a walleye. Okay, that was out of nowhere, guys. Okay, come on. Don't lose them, don't lose them. It's a nice walleye, oh crap. Oh, god. oh my god. <sighs> you guys, I just got a nice walleye. I'll get him unhooked. Look at that. I'll get you a good look. My first walleye of the day. I lost a really nice bass and this made up for it. So that was kind of 2020 into that 2021 ice season. That was kind of just like the, the early days for me of just trying to figure YouTube out, see what was getting views, see what's not. And as far as the whole view, views thing goes, um, you could spend the rest of your life trying to figure out, I think, what gets a lot of views and what doesn't get a lot of views. And if you just, if you only let that factor stray you in the direction of where you should go, I think your channel probably ends up as like cheesy and corny and just kind of lame. Um, so for the most part, after that first year, I feel like I kind of um, figured out the product that I wanted to have a little bit more and polished it up a little bit more and things kind of got a little bit ironed out. And I became a lot more okay with like, going out, shooting a video, thinking it was okay, putting it on my computer and being like, eh, I just don't like it a little bit as much. And I, I would save it, or I, I just wouldn't ever make a video out of that content. So it got a little bit more ironed out. And I remember starting in 2021, I started looking at a lot more like a job, which is a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing and, and a bad thing, I guess, when, you know, um, it, it's not a job to the point where it's like, man, I don't want to go to work on Monday. It's much more of a job like, I need to do this today and I need to do that today and I need to do the next thing. It was no more kind of like this just spray and pray approach of, you know, let's just go film 97 things and see what we get this week type of type of deal. It felt a lot more like a job, which is a very good transition to have overall. Uh, but I remember that thinking that, especially in the spring of 2020, when I was getting back in a boat, I was like, this is a job. These are the things I want to get done. And this is how I kind of want to do it. Also at this time is when we started planning for the Walleye Now app. And this project, if you guys have been following along with this channel, was is kind of like a lifetime of work bundled into a, a, a massive Walleye inform, information project. And this is when we started accruing all of this stuff. So on top of all the YouTube videos I, I was already doing, I was doing a lot of filming for the app. And we shot all the app content. We'd be in like, um, you know, it goes by seasons. There's seven seasons. So in early spring, we'd have to hit lakes, rivers, and reservoirs. And we'd, sometimes we'd do all those like in the same week. So we'd be on like three, four different bodies of water in the same week, shooting six videos for each of those things. So that was a mountain of content too. And it kind of cut into the amount of YouTube content that was created, but it was just kind of the necessary, you know, you look at it as a job and you, you know, you, you kind of try to move in that direction. So um, I remember that a lot from the spring of 2021 being not necessarily stressed out, but being like very anxious about how all the app filming stuff was gonna go and things like that. This is a walleye, it's a real good one. Yeah, look at that. Quality, quality, quality fish on the ripping wraps. Right. Boom. Toads, dude. Toads. Just super healthy fish. Is this bigger than we think it is, Shelby? No, no. It's heavy. It feels heavy. This is hooked. It's a nice one. It's a real nice one. Look at that sucker. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Good work, babe. Kind of going to more of this drag. Show it off for the front camera. Look at that, that's a nice one, I might measure it. <laughs> 25. That's what you think? Okay, yeah. I'll see. Right there, hooked up. There's a bunch out there. I'll take a, I'll take a screenshot for you off the 360 as I'm fighting this fish here. Shelby's got one too, it's giving you a tussle. 
Look at that opening morning double. That's what it's about. Doesn't get much better than that right there, does it? Nope. Good work. And man, it's crazy looking back at all these clips and it's kind of it's kind of cool I always think, you know, keeping all these hard drives and all the content that's on YouTube anyways. It's almost like um Imagine if, if you had all your fishing trips documented in video form for the last three, four years. It's a kind of a crazy archive of just stuff that, you know, it's not just like, oh, look at this picture of this fish I caught back in the spring of 2020. It's like you video the whole trip. So it's a ton of content. It's so cool going back and watching all this stuff for me. I mean, hopefully you guys think it's kind of cool as well, but you know, it, it's crazy. You remember like, oh yeah, I remember my truck broke down that week you know, or stuff like that or whatever it is. Um, kind of crazy to see it all. And moving into the summer 2021, um, I remember uh, this is when I, when I started traveling a lot more. I did a lot more traveling stuff, which is something that, you know, we kind of do a lot of now. We, we want to show you guys the most amount of content um, from the most amount of areas, kind of on trendy or, or hot bites or even tough bites. Or a lot of times I just go to the places I like to go and film what happens. And uh, yeah, I remember the summer of 2020, it was a lot more travel. And here's kind of another little side story. So I was in Green Bay in the spring one year and I broke a leaf spring on a trailer. And I remember thinking, cause the axle on the trailer kind of swung like this when the one side leaf spring broke. And I remember, um, I remember thinking at the time, I was like, man, I hope I didn't bend an, a spindle or put a little bend in the axle or something like that. And there were like three months that went by from spring into, into summer. And it was, um, all of a sudden I started blowing tires on the left side, I believe on my trailer. And I was like, Oh man. So I, everything being back ordered, I ordered an axle, but it wasn't going to be here for like a month. So I spent a month and I probably changed 20 trailer bearings in that month. I would leave to go somewhere like maybe a leech lake or something. I'd leave and I'd have, you know, three, four of these bearing kits in my, um, or hub assemblies in the back of my truck. And I just would know that going there, I would blow a bearing and then I'd get there, you know, film a couple of videos and drive home. And I knew somewhere on the drive home, I'd blow another one. So I was, <laughs> I was literally intentionally going on trips, knowing that I was going to be stopping on the highway somewhere and changing bearings on the way there and on the way back. Kind of crazy to look back at some of this stuff now, but here's some content from the summer of 2021. Right there. Got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not probably a more effective technique that works absolutely everywhere. There we go. Look at that guy. That is what it's all about right there. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. What now? <laughs> oh man, are we having uh, too much fun? Well, this is, it's just, I'm not gonna be able to reel in both these fish at the same time. So we're going to, that is awesome. Look at that <laughs> leech just coming out of his mouth. Get you popped off here quick, buddy. A lot of times you can just kind of run your finger down that hook shank and pop them right out like that. And there we go. Oh, I got walleye. Now we're in trouble. Cause now we got a, I got for sure a toad walleye. Here's the walleye. Oh my gosh. We gotta get that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> got him. Here, take this. I got a, I got another big one on. All right, look at that. Is that not the most insane double you have ever seen in your life? That is a 28 and a half and a 30 inch devil's lake walleye on a double. Yep, right there. Gotta beat it for a second. What? It's going down again. Got him, right there. Here we go, just another really nice little day fish. Oh, he's not done yet. Awesome, super thick, super healthy. Midsummer walleye out here on Beach Lake. That is just exactly what So now we're at fall of 2021. Um, I thought 21, 2021 season went pretty good. Um, one thing we saw a lot is that subscribers through the, the kind of the COVID period where everybody was locked down, it was like skyrocketing and you kind of saw more stagnant growth after that 2020 season and i remember 2021 um, subscribers were gaining slower which was i mean just normal it's just the way it is not a big deal right but i do remember that thinking about this and we shot some of my favorite clips definitely from 2021 was like a devil's lake one i got to shoot with my dad where it was just insane big fish um 
what else did we shoot that year? I, th- I think we, th- me and Shelby shot some lake trout stuff that was we thought was just crazy cool. Um, but there's a lot of, a lot of like little, you know, looking at these, there's like, oh yeah, there's those two videos that stick out in your mind. You're like, wow, what a crazy day that was. Um, but then came ice season back around, or, uh, I guess the fall of 2021 came back around and fall of 2021, I spent a ton of time on Leech Lake and that, uh, Winnebagosh area in Northern Minnesota. And I always love fall fishing. There's generally very few people out. I love, if I could only fish while I fish one way the rest of my life, it'd be pitching a jig in a minnow or a jig in a plastic up in shallow water, feeling that jig just get thumped, set the hook and you're fighting a walleye in skinny water. In my opinion, it's just one of the coolest, coolest bites around. Right there, Mitchell. Good fish. Give me some. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Punching bites. Look at that. Right there. Look at that, dude. Stop. Oh, man, right there. Close. Close to us. Got him. Right there. A toad. A toad, a toad. It's as good as it gets. Beautiful walleye looking day. take a screenshot for you guys here on the 360. Now what you're gonna see is a weed edge that comes to an end. And a bunch of fish sitting right on the back side of that. Man, that is just how we like to do it right there. Look at that beast right there. Oh my goodness. Stella, do not eat my jig. No, no. Do not eat that, Stella. Look at that thing. Right there. Look at that thing go. Gotta be a pike, right? Keep fishing, Shelby. You'll probably get another one. Yep. Oh boy, I got a walleye. Oh, what a double. What a double. Look at that. Leech leg doubles, fall jig bites. Doesn't get much better than that right there out here just clocking these fish, using that 360, using the side imaging up on a lot of these big flats to eliminate a lot of water and just pounded them. So that kind of takes us through the fall of 2021. Obviously the content from there is much more recent. You know, if you guys follow this channel, you guys could probably watch a bunch of it, but I just kind of wanted to do this cool little video thanking you guys for getting to 100,000, kind of unbelievable. Um, and then maybe just kind of take a little jog down memory lane here. No need to show some more of the recent clips because you guys have probably seen a bunch of those. But um, literally, my hat is off to you guys. I mean, it's just such a, it's kind of, you know, I have nobody to thank but you guys for all the opportunities that I have in doing this. I mean, it's my job that I get to go fish and film. Does my job look like what it did three years ago um, when this was just all random and chaotic filming? Not at all. There's a lot more um, pieces at play now, I guess. We have much more of an objective each time we go out. Um, but you know, this whole YouTube thing spawned into so many different opportunities for me um, that I'm just unbelievably thankful for you guys and unbelievably thankful for all the companies that have been willing to kind of work with me on this ride um, down YouTube. So a huge amount of appreciation goes into goes into everybody who's kind of been a part of this and a huge amount of appreciation goes into Shelby, of course, for um, watching a crazy person go about this, this process kind of. And uh, it's kind of crazy. I guess, you know, it, it's just been kind of a wild ride and it's kind of crazy to look back on all this stuff now. Where are we going in the future? Um, we're gonna create a ton more content. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, Tom, well, since you, since you came out with this app, are you not making as many YouTube videos? Not at all. Um, it's been kind of a rough spring. We got a bunch of questions why I wasn't fishing in my boat. Um, I got a week and a, well, almost two weeks ago now, I got rear-ended driving down the highway and I'm pretty sure it totaled my brand new boat. Um, we're still waiting for some random insurance stuff, but there was the, I got pushed into a guardrail after I got re-ended rear-ended and uh, the truck's all messed up. The boat likely not going to be fishing out of that one again. So we're trying the best to keep it together right now. Not a big deal. Life goes on, right? And we're always going to make the best of it. You could sit there and you could be sad about your new boat being wrecked and that everything's so backed up and you might not get another boat for a long time. But Mitchell majorly stepped up and we're going to be fishing out of Mitch's boat for a long time. So big thanks to Mitch. Um, so that, no sob story here for me. But um, 
Where are we going in the future? Well, like I said, more of the same, more awesome content. We hope to continue improving the quality of the videos, the information on the videos and all that kind of stuff. And I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. So like I said, one more time, huge thanks to you guys and everybody who helped me out um, make it to this 100,000 mark. I'm not a big numbers guy. I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. You know, I mean, it is cool that I hit 100,000, but it's not like it's not like this. Uh, it's not like this crazy milestone. Tomorrow we wake up and we go back to work and we do it again and again and again and again and again. And uh, if I could get uh, w one other question, whenever we we do seminars or speaking events or sometimes in YouTube comments, is I want to start a YouTube channel. How do I start? Um, get uh, get camera gear that you can afford that you can afford to run for a really long time. And uh, most of the time I run like uh, some nicer GoPro setups with uh, like batteries hooked up to them. Um, get kind of the best setup that you can afford and just make a ton of content. And for the first long time, almost pay no attention to the views. And what I mean by that is you can, you can work for years on YouTube with just getting like a, a hundred views on a video, a thousand views on the video. And that's just how it is. That's how this whole process is. Do not get discouraged if you're not getting the views. Have a message that you want to get out there, film it a million times, and uh, eventually, you know, it, it'll work out for you. But um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, we're excited to continue into the future with everything, whether that be the app, whether that be the YouTube content, whether that be whatever kind of other big project we might be working on right now. And, uh, Hopefully you guys want to stay tuned for some more content. And I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys at 200,000.